Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Ah, is it morning already? <laughs> Good morning, Molly. Time to wake up. It's okay, Mom. I'm already sort of awake because I was like super hungry, so my stomach woke me up. <laughs> you have a stomach alarm clock, huh? Yeah. Sometimes it comes in handy, actually. Because <laughs> I want to sleep through the alarm that wakes me up for school. But you can't sleep sleep through it being hungry. No, you really can't, Molly. Come on, let's go in the kitchen and we'll make some breakfast. Sounds good. My stomach's like grumbling. <laughs> Whoa, what are all these pumpkins for, Mom? Oh, I'm going to make a pumpkin pie and also an apple pie and... Ooh, leftover candy from Halloween. Um, Molly, Halloween was like two months ago. Yeah, and the candy doesn't go bad, Mom. <laughs> Molly, you can't have candy for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Molly, why you say it like that? Because, Daisy, I was like, good morning, annoying sister. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. Mom, can I have a banana or something? I'm so hungry. Yeah, you can have a banana because that's healthy. But then we're going to have a regular breakfast, not Halloween candy. <laughs> Molly wanted to eat Halloween candy for her breakfast. She's so immature and irresponsible. What? No, I'm not, Mom! How come I can't say that she's, like, annoying, but she can say I'm irresponsible and immature? Girls, let's just try to get along and eat our pancakes in peace. Yeah, Daisy. Yeah, Molly. Girls, I don't want to have to ground you, okay? No, I don't want to be grounded. I don't want to be. I'm supposed to go to the water park this weekend. So hungry, so hungry. Here you go, Molly. Enjoy. Thanks, Mom. Oh, wow, this looks delicious. Mm. Mom, you make the best pancakes in the world. I'm going to have some delicious tea. I'm going to have delicious tea. Well, I'm going to have lots and lots and lots of pancakes. Mm, these pancakes are good. Okay, girls, I want to talk to you about something. Ah, oh, finally, we're getting a puppy! No, we're not getting a puppy, Molly. What I want to tell you is I have to run errands most of the day, and then I have a work meeting, so I have to leave someone in charge. <laughs> of course it's me, Mom. I'm the older one. Actually, Molly, it's going to be Daisy. What? No, you can't leave Daisy in charge of me. Molly, uh, I think she's kind of the mature one. What? No, she's not. Look at her. Look at her. She wears pigtails. So, Marty, even grown-ups wear pigtails. Yeah, Molly, sometimes they do. Oh, man, are you kidding me? That's why, Marty, I'm in charge. Okay, girls, try to get along while I'm gone, okay? See you later. Okay, Molly, you have to do everything I say. <laughs> That's a good one, Daisy. That's a good one. Oh, Molly, your room is smelly. And you didn't make your bed? Make a bed, Molly. Okay, I'll make my bed. Molly, all you're doing is jumping up and down. Whee! <laughs> Molly, why is it you're doing the opposite of what I say? Ah, uh, you're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Molly, I am the boss of you. Mom made me the boss. Now make your bed. Uh-huh, sure. And when you're done with that, do your homework. All right, I'll do my homework. Everything my sister says, I'm going to do the complete opposite. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Molly, are you doing your homework? No. Molly, you're supposed to do what I say. I'm in charge. Uh-huh, sure you are, but I'm not. I'm doing the opposite. Molly, you do not do the opposite. Did you make your bed? Molly, you didn't make your bed. Oh, my God. You're the most terrible um, sister in the world. Yep, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Molly, do your laundry right now. Okay, I'll do my laundry. 
wow, she's actually listening. She's actually getting our laundry. Okay, I'm impressed, Molly. Molly, where are you going? The washer's not outside. Aha, uh -huh, I know. <laughs> Molly, are you going to throw your clothes in the pool? Molly, you better not. <laughs> See you later, clothes. Molly! You're grounded. Go to your room. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Molly, what are you doing? I was trying to lock you out, but you came in too quick. Seriously, Molly, you need to calm down. Now go and start your chores. Okay, Daisy. Okay, here's the mop and the broom. And I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm just going to be lazy and relax. Ah, this is the life. Molly, are your chores done? No! Doing the exact opposite of what you say. Okay, you are doing the exact opposite of what I say, huh? Okay, noted. Um, please go swim in the pool. What? Swim in the pool? Uh, but that's fun. Yeah, I want you to have as much fun as you possibly can. Okay, fine. I guess I won't do it in the opposite. Whoa, baby Kira left all her toys all over the floor. <laughs> Watch this. Finally, you see things my way. Holy guacamole! This water's freezing! Daisy, what were you thinking? <laughs> now I want you to go inside and eat as much candy as you can. Woo! I'm liking the sound of that. Mmm, this is good candy. Mm. Molly, why are you eating all that candy again? Uh, because you told me to. Keep eating, Molly. You're not done. Oh, it's a lot of candy, Daisy. It's a lot. Keep eating it, Molly. Keep eating it. Oh. Ah, my stomach hurts so bad. Oh. <laughs> Molly, where you going? I'm going to go throw up. Oh, I got to go to the bathroom. Oh. Molly, maybe you shouldn't do the opposite. You should just listen. I'm not doing the opposite. I'm doing exactly what you tell me now. Okay, okay, you're confusing me right now, Molly. But the point is, is that sometimes you should just listen to the mature and responsible sister. Okay, I'll listen to everything you say. As soon as I lay down for a while, because I ate way too much candy. See, if it was up to you, Molly, you would have done silly things the entire time. But I'm trying to tell you to do the right thing, and you're not even listening. Molly? Molly, listen to me! Oh, brother, I can't be in charge of her. That's it! I quit! <laughs> now I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. <laughs>
were coming home from school. When they walked past the scariest house in the town. Whoa, like a haunted house? Kind of. But there wasn't ghosts there. There was some kind of creature. People would hear it screeching at night, clawing its way out of the walls. Ugh, Marty, that sounds terrifying. What did it look like? No one had ever seen the monster before. Until this night, the two kids dared each other to go up and look in the windows. They went up to the windows. The windows were really dirty because no one had lived there except for the monster for a really long time. Okay, Marty, what's the point? So squeak, squeak, squeak. They wiped off the windows with the shirt sleeve, their shirt sleeve, and they peered in. What did they see, Molly? What did they see? First, they didn't see anything. Then all of a sudden, out of the shadows came this giant monster. Oh my God, Molly, what did it look like? It looked like it was really tall but its body looked like a skeleton. And then for its head, it had one eye because the other one had fallen out. Ew, gross! And then its teeth were dripping oozy green stuff. Ew, Molly, its teeth were all black and gross like it had chewed on boogers. Ah, oh, Molly, gross! Yeah, I'm telling you, this monster was really, really gross. And he just didn't like anybody. He he used to be a human, I think. And he got turned into a monster. And he is just grumpy. Oh, my God, Molly. What happened next? The kids r tried to run and scream. But they found they were frozen in the spot. Really? Why? Because the monster had put some sort of spell on them, of course. And then the monster broke through the glass. Reached out. Grabbed them. And pulled them in. And that was the last time they ever heard from them. Oh, my. Gosh, Molly, that was so scary. I can't believe I stayed for that whole thing. Now I'm going to have to sleep in here on the floor. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, Molly, that wasn't even a true story, was it? Um, no. Molly! I'm still freaked out about the monster with the with the booger teeth. I'm, I'm sleeping on the floor. Ew, booger teeth, gross. Okay, you guys can all pile into here if you want to, or there's sleeping bags on the floor. Good night! I can't sleep after that scary story. Yeah, me evil. Come on, Pookie. Let's go in the living room and watch TV. Sounds good, Daisy. <sighs> ah, is it morning already? I hope I didn't sleep through breakfast. Brookie Cookie! Daisy! Oh, good morning, sleepyhead. What are you making? It smells delicious. Bacon and eggs, of course. Where's Brookie? Is she still sleeping? Actually, she had to leave early because she had something to do this morning. Hey, Daisy, it looks like Brookie Cookie left her school book here. What? Seriously? I don't know. Maybe this, this isn't her school book. Dear Diary. Molly, she left her diary here. Don't read that. But I, I can't help myself. I gotta know what it says next. I went out into the woods for a hike the other night, and I came across a real magic fairy. What? I'm not listening, Molly. This is rude. Okay. She came across a real magic fairy. What? The magic fairy gave me three wishes. But I'm not going to tell anybody that this happened. Holy guacamole. Brookie Cookie met a magic fairy? I wonder what she wished for. Wait, I can't tell her though because I, I wasn't supposed to read her diary. Molly, Molly. Oh, Brookie Cookie. Uh, you're back. What are you doing here? Um, I accidentally left a really important book here. Have you seen it? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> no, I don't even know what you're talking about right now. Oh, well, well, it was my diary and it was really personal, you know, so I just wanted to come back and get it. Ah, uh, nope, I haven't seen it anywhere. Uh, but maybe you could check on my desk. Maybe you left it there, huh? Yep. Bye, have a good day. Wow, Molly's acting kind of strange. Hey, Daisy. Molly, what are you doing? I'm trying to hide from Boogie Cookie. Would she keep back? Did she know you read your diary? Shh, Daisy, don't tell her I read the diary, jeepers. Oh, sorry, Molly, but you did, didn't you? Um, yeah, but I don't want her to know that. Bye, guys, see you later. Hmm, looks like somebody's been looking through my diary. Molly, she knows, you better tell her. 
What? No, I'm not going to tell her. She'll be mad at me. I'm going to go hide in the shower. Molly! What? I don't want her to know. Daisy, um, have you been reading my diary? What? Me? No, I would never read your diary. Uh, Molly? Ah, uh, don't come in. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Ew. Molly, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just making funny noises, actually. Oh, so you're not actually in the bathroom? Um, uh, no. Oh, Molly, are you hiding because you read my diary? Um, uh... Molly, that was private! I'm sorry, I was... I don't know, I thought it was your math book, and then when I read that you went into the forest and you met a magic fairy and... What? You read that? No, you weren't supposed to know that. It was a secret. Why can't you tell me what your wishes were? Molly, what if my wishes don't come true then? I mean, there's got to be rules to this, right? I don't know. I'm not the one that found the magic fairy. Maybe you should have asked her. Maybe you shouldn't have read my diary. Oh, did you read my diary too, Daisy? No, but I left the room. I didn't want anything to do with that. Uh, Brookie, I'm so sorry, but, 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 but nothing, Molly. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Brookie, wait. Brookie, there you are. Molly, just go away, okay? Oh my gosh, is that the fairy? Look at all the magic! Yeah, this is my fairy, but I didn't want to tell you, okay? Why wouldn't you want to tell me? I'm your best friend, Brookie. This is huge news! Because I wish for something for you. Wait, what? Y you did? Yeah, something that will make you so happy. But I didn't want to tell you in case the wish wouldn't come true. Don't worry, your wish will still come true. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, you probably should have asked her that. Molly, not the point! You read my diary! Sorry, Brookie. I was really curious, and when it said that you went out into the woods and something crazy happened, and then I just couldn't help myself! I read it! But it was wrong. Do you forgive me? Yes, Molly, I forgive you. Are you gonna wish that I, like, um, don't get to ever eat cupcakes ever again because I read your diary? Oh, wow, Molly, that's harsh. I wouldn't do that. But I did wish for something nice for you and Daisy. I, I... I didn't even wish anything for myself yet. Wow. You're a great friend, Brookie. Oh, thanks, Molly. Now tell me what my wish was. Your wish that was that you'll get to eat a cupcake of your choice every single day. What? A cupcake of my choice every single day? Are you kidding me? No, Molly. Does that make you happy? It makes me so happy. You're the best friend a girl could ever ask for, Brookie. Yeah, Molly, you're not so bad yourself, even if you did read my diary. I'm so sorry about that, Brookie. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Molly. I forgive you. Now you should wish for one last thing for yourself. Okay. Magical Fairy, I wish that Molly and Daisy and I will be friends forever. Your wish is my command. Oh, Brookie, we will be friends forever. I promise. <laughs>